What is going on guys, it's Muck Designs here and I'm coming to you guys with a brand new tutorial on how to make a really nice and clean 2D layout in Photoshop and basically I'm going to be incorporating uh, textures and some cool 2D text into the background and make it just really really nice on the eyes and just a really stylish background and uh, so what you want to do first is go to file new and make your width 200 pixels your height 200 pixels, your resolution is 75 pixels, your color mode is going to be 8 bit, and your background, make that transparent. Entitle this texture, and then go ahead and click OK. So this is going to come up, it's going to be a small box. And what, you want, what you guys want to do first is just make a new layer, come down to the bottom left color palette, scroll down to all the way it's black, 0000. zero, zero, zero click OK and just fill in with black alright so what you want to do now is you want to go to filter noise noise and then add noise so what you want to do is the amount on 100 make sure previews checked so you can see it on Photoshop change the distribution to Gaussian and monochromatic once you guys have done that, go ahead and click OK. And you can see it's going to be kind of staticky. This is what you want. Now, just um, you're going to Control A, and it should select the entire box. And uh, make sure you are on layer 2, not layer 1. So it's going to select the entire box. And after that, just go to Edit, Define Pattern, and this box is going to come up. And what you want to name this? Texture M A T T E. Texture Matte. Then go ahead and click OK. Alright, so now you have a defined texture. What you want to do now is you want to make a. Go to your template, your background template, and basically make a new layer. And uh, go to the color selection and type in these. Um, coordinates in the hashtag you want to type in 151515 and it should be um, a slightly black but not completely black and just go ahead and click OK and um, just fill that in real quick and there you go so it's gonna be slightly black and what you guys want to do now is you want to go to Filter, no, you want to go to Layer, and then um, New Fill Layer, go to Pattern, and um, name the pattern Texture Matte, and go ahead and click OK, and this should come up, your texture should come up, and uh, if it doesn't, just click this arrow here and scroll to the very bottom and look for the text that you recently made and go ahead and click OK so now the whole background is going to be staticky which is exactly what you want so what you want to do now is you want to turn the opacity of the texture down to 3% and that's it just 3% alright so once you have the texture down just make a new layer now we have the background uh, completely done and it looks, looks pretty cool right now so the background done, just make a new layer and we're gonna make a text layer now so we're just going to make sure the text is on Arial because that's a pretty clean font and looks very good with this type of banner so just entitle your banner whatever you guys want it's gonna go tutorial and make that uh, let's see make the font whichever size you guys want and make sure the font is completely white alright and for added effect I'm gonna put a space between each of the letters so it looks spread out like that in fact I'm just gonna make this one the size is gonna be 120 and I'm gonna click OK so once you have the the text try and uh, try and place it in the middle with a ruler and just try and get that directly in the middle alright and uh, now you have this so um, what you want to do is you want to duplicate this layer 
Alright, so now you have two. Go to the top one, double click it, and make color overlay. Go to the color overlay, hit the palette, and make this color D9, D9, D9. And it's going to be this uh, grayish color, and click OK, and OK. So now you have that. And uh, what you want to do next is you want to do a double click it again and go to drop shadow. Basically, what you want to do here is you want to turn the distance to 13, you want to turn the size to 5, the opacity to 100, and um, let's go to the drop shadow color. And it's going to be the hashtag B A B A. A B A. Click OK. OK. And as you guys can see, there's a shadow underneath it, which looks pretty good. And uh, just minimize that. And you're going to go to the text beneath it. And you're going to double click that. You're going to go to Color Overlay. And click the box. And basically, the hashtag is going to be 8. Two, eight, two, eight, two. That's going to be this uh, this grayish color, and just hit OK, hit OK, and basically what you want to do now is you want to click the arrow tool in the top left of your tools. Just click that. Make sure tutorial is selected, and just hit down on your arrows, and just keep keep going down until until you reach the um, you reach the point where it does not like it doesn't come out all the way but it's just barely on it so yeah once you guys have that it's gonna look mostly 3d it's gonna look pretty nice and clean and uh... it's gonna have a good shadow to it and uh... after that is done um... go ahead and um... you can basically do circles on the side here you can basically get a circle put on the side and just copy the duplicate the duplicate the circle so there's two of them make sure they're both wrath both rasterized and basically you can just duplicate the effect of the text tutorial and put it on the circle so the circle has it as well and then delete the the text you ripped it off of and um, Duplicate this one as well, and put it on the other circle, and delete that. Make this circle down a little bit. All right. Now group these two texts together. Make sure they don't interfere with um, the other stuff. Just name this group text, and I'm gonna make another group for the, just for the circles. So and I'm just gonna get my ruler pull it down and make sure that they're perfectly aligned up and I'm just gonna duplicate the circles and I'm gonna bring them across to the other side so it looks like that once you have that you guys can choose your logo if you have a logo if you don't you can just keep the text I'm going to actually use my logo on this one and uh, I'm gonna find it real quick alright so I'm just gonna drag my logo onto my banner and it's gonna be pretty large so I'm just gonna minimize this and there we go so I'm basically going to do the exact same as I did on the text and the circles. I'm just going to copy the text material. Rasterize this real quick. All right. I'm just going to copy the text and materials of both. And there we go. 
All right, and drop this a little bit. And as you guys can see, um, my logo is not perfect at all. The fact is, it has a gap here, and it doesn't look quite um, quite 3D with that gap. Let's make this down a little bit more. All right, it has that, and I'm just gonna go into the pixels, zoom in quite a bit, and go to the bottom left, the color palette, and just select the color. Just click on the screen where the background pixel is and just hit OK. Get your pen tool, make a new layer, click, and just again, and just try to get a perfect um, filler for the spot. Right click, fill path, and it's going to be color, and select the color. Okay, okay. Okay, that's not quite it. Hold on. Great. Let's do this again. Select it. Select it. Make a new layer. Fill it. Color. All right. And as you guys can see, it does fill it up, and it looks pretty good. Let's duplicate that on this side. And all right. As you guys can see, I have successfully put my logo in there with the text. And if it doesn't fit on the screen, you can just raise it up real quick. Just raise everything up. raise these circles as well and there we go um, click control H to get rid of all the the rulers and yeah there we go guys uh, it's a nice clean two-day layout um, if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the likes in the comment section below. Please uh, like if you did enjoy this and you found this helpful at all, and subscribe for more content. So yeah, thanks guys. Uh